fried rice. Uh, but before I do that, I wanted to address a comment I got on my channel. And this is in my bread, be quiet. And this is in my yam pottage video. I got a comment from someone saying, Susie Emi, you only have a husband, little kids, and you're cooking this much food. I'm sure you sell food, but you're too ashamed to say you sell food. I'm like, what will make somebody ashamed to say they sell food? Like, hmm, all this lumber that all these Nigerians they always come online to come and give to us. Now, wow. <laughs> You see, Yemi, I, 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 I don't just understand you. I, I don't understand this thing that you just said from the beginning of your video. <laughs> hey, my sister, Sissi Yemi. <laughs> Nigerian YouTubers, all these big YouTubers. Well, you know, people will always give us something to talk about. I'm going to do this video and it's going to be centered around Sissi Yemi. For those that don't know who Sissi Yemi is, Sissi Yemi is a Nigerian blogger, a very big one at that. She's been on the street of YouTube for years and, you know, she's got the audience, she's got the, um, um, she's got everything going on for her, you understand? And, um, she's a food, food blogger anyways, yeah, you know, a very successful one on this YouTube, you know, at that. So, as you guys see from the beginning of this video, Sishi Yemi came out, made this video and, man, the lamba in that video, eh? We're not talking to kids now. How can you just come out to see Yemi? And you start to tell us that, uh, you got a comment on your comments. I'm not saying it's not true. Oh, you understand, but it's it's very hard for me to believe. Or I, for one, it's very hard for me to like, you know, swallow what you said that somebody came on your channel to tell you on your Instagram page. I don't know if it's Instagram that you even mentioned that be on your comment section to tell you that, um, um, to tell you this what you just said now that, um, since you it's just you and your kids and your husband that you cook so much food that uh, maybe just like you people had maybe you're selling food and you're so ashamed to sell that oh, man that that doesn't even make any sense because you know of a truth it doesn't make any sense because who would just come out and start telling somebody that cooks like that like you when they know that you're a food blogger like i said in all your channels that's what you do cooking most you know like 90 percent of what you do on your channel is about cooking and the person will just come out and tell you that rubbish are you not going to make money just like you said so who in their rightful mind rightful thinking mind will now send you that kind of a very nonsense message telling you that uh, you're too ashamed to say that you make food and just like you try to educate the person, it's it's not uh, a lot. Of, it's not most people, as in lots of Nigerians, you know, are they not into catering business or are they not into event planning, you know? And these people, these people, we know they make lots of money, especially in Nigeria, when you are into event planning, you understand. So why would that person just come out to tell you that? Um, no, are you too ashamed? It doesn't even make sense when I listen to it. That's why I decided to like make this video because you know, if you want to sell your book, because you went on to say that um, you have a cooking book, you know, that's you have some kind of food that you don't even show on your channel that they were they're going to find, you know, in that your book. My sister, Cecilia, if you just want to like advertise your cooking book. You understand cooking recipe book. Why did you just um, advertise it in peace? You understand instead of giving us that. You know kind of lamba that you just gave to us that somebody wrote that to you they never wrote that kind of a thing to you all these years that you've been cooking and you know they see the kind of food that you cook and all of that and when they know everybody's fully aware that that's what you do on your channel so why is it now that you want to introduce a book that you now remembered or they just all of a sudden out of the blues wrote that to you that um uh, you're cooking that much and you've you know probably you're ashamed to say that you're your you sell food you understand so that's why i just said mm. it's better you just advertise your book like i said advertise your book or advertise your book and for those who want to buy they will buy you understand instead of just saying that advertise your book in peace which you at the end of the day you still advertise you understand before you now went into your cooking um, um stage properly you understand so i just get tired of when people just come and say things that you know when you say then you think everybody will just swallow everything you say hook line and sinker no now come on now see me come on come on 
we love you and we love your channel we what we love watching you cook we love those delicious meals that you cook so why would somebody say that you know it doesn't make any kind of sense to me anyways for me Sha, it doesn't really make any sense just like i say say your book in peace okay okay sis yes so <laughs> anyways i'm just joking uh congratulations on your on your book you know on the release of your book cooking book and yeah we'll move on to the next two of you and i'm going to talk about vivian okzie ah uh, vivian okzie congratulations to you for your uh, recent engagement and um and for the final reveal revealing of your um man to the whole world Congratulations and um, yeah, you talked about Vivian Okezie is also a Nigerian um, YouTuber that is based in Abuja. She's doing well for herself. She's a young um, lady doing well for herself and um, she just revealed that she's getting married. And uh, she also told us how she met this her husband, a current husband at her ex-boyfriend's um, house. And yeah, if you want to see all about what she said about how she met the guy, it's in our latest video that she put up and i just want to use this medium to advise a, a whole lot of people out there especially ladies that you can find love in anywhere and um you don't need to burn bridges with your ex because you never can tell where you can meet your life partner just like it happened in vivian okese's case now and um she said a lot of things and uh, and how she met the guy and um how she didn't want to go for um the party that her cousins invited her um for because she just moved to a new apartment and um they forced her to go out that day so let's just say that um what if she had not gone for that party if she had met this guy no there's no way i'm actually would have met him uh perhaps it could be that they might have met somewhere but it would have taken a longer time do you understand what i mean so you see the way god just pushed her she went for that party on the money the fact that the party was being held at her ex's house she still went and there she found love do you understand she found love you know she didn't want at first to like you know because she said she gave the guy her uh, instagram and do to contact uh her you know if he wanted to contact her and um the guy contacted her on instagram they got talking and before she now decided to give him a direct phone number which he called and um, because he demanded that they should have a date together and all of that stuff and that was it you know they went out they met and that was it that was it and the rest is history so um i just want to say congratulations to her and i wish her um a happy married life you know because um she said they've done the in a previous video before this recent one you know she has done the introduction and uh, all of that stuff so anyways she are vivian congratulations to you and there's one more person that i would like to talk about here let me just use this opportunity to say uh, to talk about her also i would also like to congratulate um another nigerian um youtuber that's doing well her name is kileshi in Bermina. uh i won't end this video without saying congratulations to her again because she just um, she's pregnant and she hid it again for uh not until some few weeks ago that she revealed that she, she's pregnant she's almost due to give birth i'm sure by now she would have given birth you guys know a lot of people just um put old videos you know on their channel because they don't want to put the current stage stage that they are during their pregnancy so i'm sure by now clearly she would have given birth anyways congratulations to her and a newborn baby if she had given birth so congratulations to her and if she hasn't given birth um we await the arrival of the newborn baby and uh, yeah that's all i would like to say in this video so guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can please just click down on that red button that says subscribe for you to be part of this amazing family and i'll definitely see you all on the next one to have a wonderful wonderful evening bye all bye